Guys, I am breaking protocol here. I am not jogging while doing the jog vlog. I want to share some frustration with you regarding the Halo Master Bug Collection. Okay, so let's just dive right into this piece of shit. This is an off malign game. Various patches numering uh, several gigabytes at this time flip things around here. Okay, so I've been playing Halo since about 2002 was when I got to the Xbox and I've been using the Legacy controls. Uh, Legacy is uh, akin to what you find on the N64 in GoldenEye. And to kind of help show you how screwed up this game is, uh, let's just start a custom game of Halo 2. Yeah, Halo 2 anniversary, and uh, we'll see just how raging incompetent these bastards at 343 Industries are. Okay? We're doing this shit in real time here. There's no edits, nothing. I want to show you how to not make a damn video game. Alright? Now, let me, let me just go ahead and stress this. The legacy control sticks from GoldenEye that I have used from the very start of Halo that have been in every game and were never an issue. Even the numerous bugs in this piece of hot shit, the controls worked. On December 7th, a Sunday, if you will, 343 Industries issued a patch. Yeah, a patch. And they said it was going to fix things. It was going to fix matchmaking online. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, sure. Fix things, right. I'll tell you what that patch did. It broke legacy controls. When you hit left or right with the right stick on legacy controls, you should sidestep. You're not sidestepping. You're turning. You're looking around. Legacy controls have you look and aim with both sticks, not look with the right stick and walk with the left. They issued another patch, I think just yesterday. Did not address the goddamn issue with the legacy sticks they broke over a week ago. Folks, this level of incompetence cannot be understated. This is ninth level of hellfire right here. What is a gamer to do when we live in an age where everybody's hitting you with the pre-order now to get the map pack, pre-order now to get the in-game character, special edition blood? Yo, know, you only get to play this if you pre-order. You want to play as these guys, you only get to do it if you pre-order. You better pre-order. Before the reviews come in that the game you want to play is a hot turd and you shouldn't spend 60 odd bucks on it. That's the whole point of pre-ordering now. Now there was a time when you didn't pre-order a game, maybe you had a tough time finding it. When did this game come out? Oh, right before Black Friday, which ruined a whole shitload of video games. When you pre-order now, they realize they got you over a barrel. Oh, you want to be a fan, don't you? You better pre-order and have the collector figurine for this piece of crap that you can probably pawn on eBay for a buck in five years. You better pre-order if you want to be playing. Well, no, now you have the digital downloads. There's no real shortage. People are downloading this shit from Xbox Live right now. There's no shortage. I would rather have a goddamn disc. I would rather have the disc of this piece of crap. Because when you have the disc, excuse the mess here, but I don't really care. When you have the disc and you're done with a game, guess what you get to do? You go in wherever the hell you want and you sell it and you get the next game you want to play. That's what you do. Oh, I should be selling this. I, I got this console 
Uh, there's my Star Wars edition. I'm probably going to put that on eBay or Craigslist for 200 bucks or whatever because everybody knows Star Wars geeks eat up anything Star Wars, and that happens to look like R2-D2, so that means it costs money. Anyway, there's my Xbox One. Collecting dust like it's designed to do. And uh, this thing is a Halo Master Chief Converter. I bought it so I could relive my glory years of college poning noobs in Halo 2. With the updated HD graphics, courtesy of the Xbox One, high, mighty, powerful system, everything uh, new. It's going to be just like Halo 2 was back in the day. Well, if it's just like it, 343, how come you can't party up with people when you're done killing the other ones, huh? How come it's a pain in the ass to play with my friends? How come I can't use my sticks right? What the hell? It's not just like it. I was lied to. Patches, air quotes on the patch, are being rolled out at a steady interval of about one week apiece to give the grand illusion you're trying to fix something. You don't give a shit. You got our money and you're working on Halo 5. Why don't you admit it? Because that's what's really happening here, 343 Industries. You took my money, and you said, you know what, screw that shit. Here's some patches that fix almost nothing. You still lag out when you're trying to play co-op lasso. How many times do I have to go through Halo on lasso, legendary all skulls on, as difficult as it is, get three-fourths the way through the stage, and have the game say, oh, you're logging out now. How come only Halo 1 and Halo 3 support the legacy control sticks? How come patches don't fix anything? You guys, we live in an age where you pick up these games broken already because the possibility exists to patch them later. I, why don't I have Battletoads on hand? God damn it. We're going to pretend this cup from Wendy's is Battletoads. It's mellow yellow, close enough color. You pick up Battletoads on the NES, there's no patch. They had to have this game going when it was new. Nobody has to do anything anymore. They sell you on the promise, you better pre-order, you're not going to be able to get shit. You better pre-order to prove you're a real fan. You better pre-order. So that we don't have to actually make the game work. There's your pre-order for you. Can 343 Industries be trusted with Halo 5? At this point, can someone who enjoyed the Halo franchise up to this point want to play Halo 5? Maybe. If you play default controls, you are not feeling the pain I'm in right now. Oh, well, so few people play Legacy Controls, we didn't even notice we broke it. Why get into the code for the control sticks when nothing was wrong with them? Are you that stupid? How can you possibly pre-order any other game after this point? Let alone Halo 5 that's being worked on by the incompetent fools at 343 Incompetency. How can you do it? Gamers. Do not do it. I urge you, if you play any video games, do so with some kind of word of mouth. Hey, that game's actually good. Hey, the scores from this are actually pretty okay. Even though we know that the uppity-up, top-tier magazine, online site, blogs, whatever, are being bribed out their ass, how can you review a game anymore these days? How can it be done? I did a review for this as I could play it. What if the patches fixed all that shit? Do you have to change your review? Patches ruin criticism. What kind of crap did they not show people at like GameStop or IGN to get them to say that this could be a recommended game? What kind did, Oh, guy, yay. Yeah, hey. oh, oh, you play Legacy Control? Well, you better not play Halo 2 Online Anniversary. They're running... Just this last weekend, they ran, like, a tournament for the pros. What did they do? 
not have anybody along in the pros that play with the Legacy Control 6. When Halo 2 was new back in the day, 10 years ago, you better believe I could have gone goddamn pro with the Legacy Control Sticks. Me and my duo's partner, Will, oh man, we, we had destroyed some folks. Let me tell you, we're talking killing sprees in the low hundreds, okay? We could destroy, and I was playing Legacy Controls. Are you telling me you guys can't even figure out that something's broken anymore? And you're going to be trusted to do Halo 5. Microsoft's crown jewel in their exclusives. You're leaving it to people who can't figure out control schemes. Let me leave you with this part in image right here, okay? Just, just really want to show you guys I'm not screwing around here. We're going to go to settings. What does that say? It says legacy up there, doesn't it? Okay, we I can't even tell you if the other shit's working or not, but hey, we're going to change it to default. Okay? And look, the same same kind of stuff. This is right stick looks around. Right stick only looking around at stuff, okay? I just want to show you that hey, you can believe legendary badass because I'm not being paid to lie to you. Okay? Here we go. We are changing that shit to, well, not Southpaw, but we're changing it to Legacy. All in one take here. Okay, folks? Same bag of shit. This is gaming today, folks. No one has any accountability. You're going to buy Halo 5 regardless. This was just a way to make you spend 60 more bucks before that game comes out.